Uh, today I'm really excited because we launched the 25th State Caucus uh, of the Millennial Action Project in Arizona. Uh, we were calling it the Arizona Future Caucus. So I was pleased to officially announce the launch with my colleague, Representative TJ Schoep from Coolidge. We decided our first year in 2013 that we would cut through the divisiveness of D.C. to the state capitol and come together to elevate the conversation and to discuss the issues that are relevant to millennials. Uh, I think the reason why I'm most excited about being here today is that we want to set a good example for the future generation. We are here today to announce the launch of the Arizona Future Caucus. It's been a great opportunity, even without a group such as the Future Caucus, to go ahead and talk to our colleagues on the other side of 40 uh, about how these items work, about their implications on Arizona's tax code. There are folks out there within our base, I think, that truly don't want us to get along. And I think that that's a bad, bad toxic thing that's happened in politics. Oh. Just moments earlier, we gathered a group, a bipartisan group, of young representatives who are standing up today to say, we need to get over the divisiveness and the cynicism in our politics. It's extraordinary that these young leaders are now standing up and demonstrating how we actually can bring back the important values of listening to each other. We're making it official that this generation can come together. And they'll be working on some tough issues in the months and years ahead. But the most important thing is that they're going to be building a norm around cooperation. And by building these relationships early now, it's going to last throughout their legislative careers. I can't wait to see what the next 25 brings.